Today, a super simple tip on how to keep your underwater camera from fogging up. Hey guys, Joe Kistel here. Well, it turns out this is a common problem in warm human environments. What happens is, is when you pack your camera in an outside environment, warm humid air gets trapped in the housing when you seal it up. As that camera descends, pressures increase on the housing and the air inside of it and causes the moisture to condense out of the air and generally end up on our glass ports, our lenses, and even our camera bodies. And obviously all these things are bad. The condensation on the dome and the lenses is gonna screw up our shots. And we really don't want moisture on our camera bodies. I have noticed this to be more of an issue with non-metallic housings. So things like acrylic housings with glass ports, lenses, seem to have been more problematic um, in my experience with this situation. And my guess to why this is is that the metallic houses aren't as insulated. So when you go down, there's still condensation happening inside, but since the entire body is not insulated, it's gonna be equally cold throughout the body and on the glass, so you're getting condensation throughout the entire inner surfaces of that metal housing. Whereas on like an acrylic type housing, the body itself is very insulated, but that glass lens is not, that's colder, and that's where the water is gonna to aggregate to. However, in any case, any underwater airspace, camera housing can have this problem. So how do we avoid this? Well, it's actually super simple. All you need to do is pack your camera in the housing in an air conditioned environment. And what happens is, is an air conditioning system actually reduces the moisture in the air of the room it's conditioning. So basically, you're taking the moisture out of the air that's going into the housing, so you generally don't have any moisture to condense out, even under diving pressures. So what I recommend is packing the camera in the housing the night before your dives, and don't plan on opening that housing until all your dives are complete the next day. I highly recommend not opening a housing on a boat when possible. And I understand that sometimes it's not. If you do have to open the housing for whatever reason, the next best thing would be to repack the housing in an air conditioned space on the vessel. However, it's not very common for many boats to have an air conditioned space. So if you can't do that, another option could be to put these moisture absorbing packets into the housing, desiccants they're called. It's things like what you find in occasional weird food products sometimes, those little do not eat silica packets. Things like that will actually absorb moisture out of the air that's around it, and they potentially can work. The downsides of those are they could be floating around your housing. You don't want them to get caught up in anything and, and impairing the camera functions. And secondly is they may not work instantly. It may take a little while for them to suck the moisture out of the air in the housing. But it is a good backup option when needed. I'll put a link to some of those options down below. So that is it, super simple. I've been using this technique for many years and it's worked flawlessly for me and I hope it helps many of you. So stick around, subscribe for more underwater video and photography tips. Thanks for watching, I'm Joe Kistel.